Well, what we did is we we started work on the oh crikey, you're not gonna be able to see it because of the light. But we started work on the trailer generator. We had an issue with the uh, the mounting, which is basically snapped off. And you can see there that it's basically not stuck to it. The problem I've got, I'm not gonna lift it because I just clean my hands. The problem I've got is I've got a shed load of weld on there. I need to remove or I need to make another one. I've uh, got the flywheel off again because we're going to use. We're going to have to balance things up a bit, so the flywheel's off again, and it's looking a bit cleaner in there since I actually doused it down a bit. So that's good, and uh, a bit of a, a bit of a tidy up as well. <laughs> um, anyway, over here we've got the uh, the old thing off again, and what it was is that this plate was like a banana. It really wasn't happy at all. And so I've trued it up using a, a tri square so I can actually make it so it's straight. And uh, so, as you can see, it's. Uh, just get it on the one. Uh, okay, so I, I don't know, but as you can see, things are pretty straight now, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not easy to tell through this, but basically, if you look. I think the left lens is trued up to it and you can see that it almost disappears which means it's pretty flat now. So what I'm trying to do now is uh, see these, I put screws into the actual centres, you know the actual positioning holes and what I'm trying to do now is see if these line up, you know as you rotate it and uh, if you look you, you probably can't see but as I'm looking at it, what I'm seeing basically is, is that it, it's, it's all over the shop. It's, it, it shows us wobbling around basically. Uh, and I think, uh, so this shaft which is reasonably true, but it's not true. Okay, so what we really need to do is true that up, right, with a hammer, right, and then see if the bolts line up as well. And if they do, then that means we've got everything straight because it's all looking quite good and the, the joint in there underneath there will bend slightly, enough for that, I mean that's only about a millimetre so if we can hammer it down a bit and make it so that it's straight and then hopefully we'll get everything trued up properly and then with a bit of luck our bolts will be in the right place they'll all be in the same place the way you do it is you, you place something under here and you, you see what the clearance is so uh, if we can get that sorted out then that means uh, that when we bolt this on it should the only issue I've got is that it droops because this plate's quite thin it droops so we have to have something at the other end before we spin it but then that means at least that means that things are actually going to be straight and we're not going to have things wobbling around because when I put that on it this thing just started shaking you know even just on running it on the starter motor which is relatively low revs you know maybe 100 rpm I don't know um, and, and and this thing was shaking all over the place and it was probably because well it, it was because of this being out of true so we're going to get it try, true as we can so that at least it will stay in place anyway so I'll show you that you see you can look you can see, maybe that way yeah we'll do it that way see? <clears throat> and then you can see look at that that is flat isn't it, it looks pretty good right and you can't see the, the shaft itself is wobbling you might be able to see it because of obviously the uh, the frame rate of the camera might not be showing it but basically it is wobbling so it's all looking quite good isn't it anyway that'll do I think